What's up nerds? Welcome back to the garage. Today we are continuing our install of the Garmin Panoptics. Today is probably one of the biggest pains in the butt that we got to knock out. So this is for all you guys that are looking to install a transducer, especially a side imaging transducer from a different company than your kayak is specified for. So if you guys don't know this, Hobie mostly works with Lowrance units. So if you have a Lowrance fish finder, it's ready to install instantly. All the stuff you get with Hobie makes it super easy. If you get Garmin, this thing is quite a bit bigger than my old Lowrance side image. And uh, unfortunately for us, that means we're gonna have to customize this. So this is the Guardian Shield from Hobie. And what that does is it retracts so that your transducer doesn't get beat up as you're like, you know, going up to the boat ramp. If you hit rocks, if you're on the river, it just protects the unit. Unfortunately, we got to get an aftermarket cover for this transducer later. And we're going to do that. We're not going to do it right now in today's video. We're just going to get this installed because the nice thing about the guardian shield is that I can retract it if I'm on the move. So if I know like potentially I'm going to run into some heavy cover, I'll just retract that whole plate there. And it's just one of these pull straps from the side of the boat. So we're going to do that for now. I'll probably look at Burley Pro. Uh, Burley Pro makes some pretty cool aftermarket stuff like my side pockets here, if you guys have seen those. So we might do that later, but for today, we just need to get this transducer on this thing so we can go fish, right? Uh, I already did this with Paul on his kayak and it was a pain in the butt. So we're going to try some different things and see if we can make it happen a little bit easier. So we'll get this thing in, we'll get it wired up all the way up to the front to our yak power unit that we installed last time. And then in the next video, we're going to complete the whole process by finishing the install with the pan optics control unit and wiring through the hull so we can get to the head unit. We're going to custom cut some H rails that'll go across the front. It's going to be super sick. And again, shout outs for the idea of this to Christine Fisher. We're actually using her sidearm unit, you'll see for the Panoptics, and a couple other awesome dudes just out there fishing with Gramps, the bass fishing dude, uh, all those folks who are using Panoptics have given us these ideas. So we're just putting them together in some short and sweet videos with some quick install stuff. Maybe tips that you can use and you can apply on your own kayaks. Anyways, we're gonna get to it, so be sure to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell if you want to see more content like this and stay tuned for the completion of this whole project. There's more videos coming. Let's get to it. And by the way, we go live every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. So don't miss out on those. Love to see you there. Talk to you in chat. Okay. So first things first, what we got to do here is we're going to remove these stupid little rubber thingies here. Those are not necessary. Okay. So essentially we have, look how dirty that gets in there. Ah! So we have our guardian shield. Right? So that's just what we're going to end up drilling through, honestly, to hold on to the side image transducer. But this piece right here, this is the biggest pain in the butt that we got to work around. So essentially, because the little bump guard that Hobie makes only fits the Lowrance side image, the triple shot transducer, it does not work with the, with the Garmin. We're going to have to take this and it just goes inside of here. Right? Yeah. Look how clean it is compared to the rest because I wasn't using it. I had a little bump guard. So that's going to cover this up, right? But we have to drill holes and pre-tap them through here as well as cut a little custom section there for the cable to come through because this is what the Garmin looks like. So I have to cut around this area. I got to pre-tap all these holes so I can uh, screw this thing in. And, and it's got these little tabs as well that I have to just custom fit onto that gosh dang tab. And then we're gonna try and hit these screws on the back. It's gonna be fantastic. So let's get to it. So here's how it's gonna line up, right? I can't go too far forward because then the guardian shield won't retract. So we're just gonna bring it all the way back. I don't wanna cut the actual shield. So what we gotta get this to do is tap these three holes here if I can, and then cut this whole section out on the back. And that's not gonna be easy. So let's try some stuff. All right. so. Got this thing drilled out, show you what I did. What I ended up doing was using a couple templates. Now when you get your pan optics, it includes this little trolling motor mount. So this would be what actually goes up to your trolling motor and then you bolt to your transducer here. This thing, right? And you'll see too, this has a bunch of bolt holes on the top side. You can't see that. 
when you're trying to drill into this thing. So the easiest thing to do, I found, was just to lay this up on top. So I laid it up on top and I drilled all the holes in. Now, what I found was that a 564 bit worked for the little plastic pinholes. These things, you can even see them there, look at that. That little knob there. So that was a 564. Then I used a 964 for the bolt holes. And now, one more step. I used this piece, a little like hull mount. Uh, so you would have like a flat piece here and this would come off the back of your boat. So I used this to guide me for the cable cutout. All I did, use that dry erase marker, you can see right there, traced it out, and now I'm gonna cut it. Let's get to it. Okay. All right, hole is drilled. Made it spacious enough. We can fit this whole thing through here. So I'm just gonna run the cable through. And yes. There we go, so cable through. Didn't have to go all the way through that piece, which is nice, so this is even more solid uh, than Paul's. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just tap these bolts. Whew. Okay, there we go. So that is on there nice and secure. We ended up getting five out of the six bolts. This one right here, <laughs> I can cut these towers off and do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just save them. I don't know if I need them in the future, but why not? Well, there we go. It's honestly one of the more complicated parts of this whole build. So now we're gonna thread this back through, tie it all together, and then we can move on to other stuff that's more fun. Okay. And then remount this. Done. Okay, so done underneath. Now we gotta thread this thing through the hull. Here's your Hobie three-way plug, so we're gonna run the cable through that. First things first, you got your little rubber gasket thingy. So we're gonna go through that. Okay, so then we take a little rubber grommet there. We thread that around this cable. And then we're gonna slide that into our three-way through hull piece. And we're just gonna screw that all down. And that'll be it for the deucer. There we go, nice and clean. So cable comes up through this piece right here. And we got our three-way. And then if we pull this retractor up, You can see underneath that that is now flush with the hull. So you're not gonna knock that deucer off at all. So this is how you wanna move if you're on the river, let's say, and you're going over a rocky section. You wanna protect that transducer. So we just pull that all the way up and we're good. And again, we might get a Burley Pro bump guard for that later in the future. Whew. All right guys, we are approaching the end game now. Uh, next up, we're gonna mount our Yak Power system and a preview for part three here. We're gonna mount this Garmin Panoptics unit. I'll leave a link in the description below for this product and uh, I gotta tell you, it's pretty awesome. It looks like a batarang, <laughs> shown you already, but it fits into this cargo hull really well. What we're also gonna do is I'm gonna drill two holes here so that I can zip tie this to the mast, which is inside of the hull of the Hobie Pro Anglers. Uh, that way, I mean, it's not really going anywhere anyways, especially once you put the cargo bin inside of here, just that way it doesn't like fall if I take the cargo bin out, that's all. And I don't really plan on removing this for any reason, so figured why the heck not, we'll just do that. So we're gonna go ahead and tap a bunch of holes now. Let's do it. Okay, 
holes are in. Let's go and go ahead and mount. Easier to mount this first. All right, Garmin's on. Throw some bolts on the back. Hey, look, I didn't even put it on upside down. You never know. Next piece, this one. No! Well, countered our first problem here. Okay, I think we're gonna be fine. Can never be easy, can it? That's insane. That has never happened before to me. Got a feeling those were not the right size bolts. Okay, easy as pie. <laughs> Lol, there we go. So these things are mounted. Now this can start getting plugged in and uh, just ignore this one. I, I, the bolts didn't work. It is what it is. Uh, I'll run back to the hardware store and replace that. All right, you guys, that's all we got for this part. So part two is complete. Uh, we've got, at this point, just as a recap, the Yak Power System is wired. We've now got our panoptics unit up front. This is gonna get installed in the cargo hold here. We also installed the transducer underneath the boat, and now we're gonna have the other transducer, which is the forward-facing sonar, that we're gonna install in the next part. So hopefully you've been liking this series. Again, just like shorter pieces of an install like this should apply to any plastic vessel of your choosing. This just happens to be a Hobie Pro Angler 360 in the 14 foot edition. Uh, so it's definitely a longer boat, bigger boat, different things that I have to take into consideration. Here's a preview for next time. We're gonna get the side arm. Uh, that's really cool. I can't wait for you guys to see this for the Panoptics unit. It's coming from Fishing Specialties. It's actually called the Fisher after Christine Fisher as well. So that's happening. And we're going to install the head unit. So we get our big old, you know, widescreen TV up front of the boat. I do have to do some angle grinding as well because I bought the wrong rail. So we're going to custom fit this baby. We're going to cut this down and I'll show you how it's all going to come together. So finished product coming in the next episode of this series. Again, hopefully you guys have been liking this thing and hopefully it's been helpful. Maybe it's helping you upgrade some of your plastic vessels. If you guys like the content, be sure to subscribe, smash the like and ring that notification bell and then come back Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern when we go live. Love to see you there and talk to you in chat. See you guys on the next part.